you see a car that just looks right. This is one of those cars. Built at 911 Specialist Rennsport in 2017 from a late 1988 3.2 Carrera, it was stripped to a bare body shell and rebuilt with every nut and bolt replaced. They ditched the 80s plastic impact bumpers in favour of composite parts with genuine period trim and much of the body has been replaced with new steel panels too. While purists might not like it, the 1970s styling back date has been tastefully executed to perfection and a tuned 3.2 litre flat six and reworked suspension means that it should drive as good as it looks. Before we go, this is a really nice place to be. Just like the outside, the interior has been backdated tastefully. So we've got Recaro seats covered in saddle brown leather from the same supplier used by Aston Martin. It also has the official Porsche Classic Bluetooth sat-nav, so you have some creature comforts, but it doesn't look out of place. Really, it just feels solid. It's simple. It even smells nice. Going back to the outside, it's based on a narrow-bodied car, and I think that makes it really classy. It's not too in your face, but it's still something that will stop a real petrol head in their tracks. It has the classic Fuchs wheels, but they're wider to give a more up-to-date stance, and of course, more grip. It's simple but I love the little details like the bullet wing mirrors, the modern headlights so you can actually see at night. The colour is a one-off royal blue intended to finish off that 70s feel, but since it was built two years ago, it's lived in Jersey and done very little mileage. But as we all know, 911s aren't made just to be works of art, so let's go and see how it drives. So first off it has a perfectly blueprinted 3.2 litre flat six, mildly tuned to around 250 horsepower through a performance exhaust and a five speed box from a G50 911 which feels really nice. Obviously it's not set your pants on fire fast but it only weighs 1100 kilos so it's more than quick enough for this sort of car. And you get that old school mechanical 911 thrum brakes are fantastic for an old car the pedals really reassuring they haul down speed well the only issue which is something of all 911s of this age is i find it a little bit difficult to heel and tow because of the placement of the pedal as for handling the torsion bar is helped out by uprated dampers and a lower ride height but actually when you're cruising along the ride is really nice on some of the bumpier roads, it can get a little unsettled in that old school 911 way where the, the nose is bouncing around, but it keeps you on your toes and the steering. There is so much to be said for unassisted steering like on an old 911, it just moves around in your hand. The weight is perfect. You feel everything that's going on. the steering does mean along with the sound of the engine and how it's all you on your own no driver aids you know, the car does what you do it means that it's rewarding at any speed I know we go on about that all the time about old cars but it's true you don't have to be going a million miles an hour in this car to have fun If you haven't driven an old 911, you really need to. And when it's one as sorted as this, the experience is even better. All the modifications keep the old school feel while bringing with them some more modern drivability, cornering ability and stopping power. 
For sale at Rensport through John Holland at 129,900. Some of you might think that's a lot for an old Porsche without the provenance of a real RS. But remember, a real RS will cost you five times that. And the biggest compliment of all is that I'd say this drives about as sweetly as the 1973 RS Lightweight I drove a couple of years ago. And if that isn't enough, just look at it. Everywhere we took the Rensport, it attracted attention, questions and positive reactions. Sure, you'd have to be some driver to keep sight of a modern hot hatch over a twisty road, but to judge an old 911 and performance alone is to miss the point entirely. Cars like this are the antidote to modern motoring. A protest against electrical nannies and cars that drive themselves and proof that fun is about so much more than how fast you can get from A to B.